Ooh, good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Uh, today is, what is today? April 23rd. Today is Friday, April 23rd. We're in the third week of Easter, and today is an optional memorial celebrating St. George the Martyr. I believe either a third or fourth century martyr, uh, if memory serves correctly. Friends, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Lord, who, whose love in humble service bore the weight of human need, who did on the cross forsaken show us mercy's perfect deed, we, your servants, bring the worship not a voice alone but heart. Consecrating to your purpose every gift which you impart. As we worship, grant us vision till your love's revealing light. Till the height and depth and greatness dawns upon our human sight. Making known the needs and burdens your compassion bids us bear. Stirring us to faithful service, your abundant life to share. Lord, wash away my guilt. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sins. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me, against you. You alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, 
holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Lord, wash away my guilt. Alleluia. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, a time for healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Come into God's presence. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, devoted to us as a father, you created us as a sign of your power and elected us your people to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer, that all men may enter your courts praising you in song. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom you put to death, hanging him on a tree. He, whom God has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior, is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those that obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall live in me and I in him. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall live in me, and I in him. Alleluia. Let us pray to God the Father who gave us new life through the risen Christ. Give us the glory of your Son. Lord our God, your mighty works have revealed your eternal plan. You created the earth and you are faithful in every generation. Hear us, Father of mercy. Give us the glory of your Son. Purify our hearts with your truth and guide them in the way of holiness, so that we may do what is pleasing in your sight. Give us the glory of your Son. Let your face shine upon us, that we may be freed from sin and filled with your plenty. Give us the glory of your Son. You gave the apostles the peace of Christ. Grant peace to your people and to the whole world. Give us the glory of your Son. And friends, lifting up these prayers, calling to mind the intentions and the prayers of our own hearts, recalling all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, we lift up those sacred words that Jesus himself taught to us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, by the love of your Spirit, may we who have experienced the, the grace of the Lord's resurrection Rise to the newness of life in joy. Grant this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours this morning. Um, Again, what a gift, what a treasure to be able to, to pray together in this uh, virtual format, to pray the prayer of the church, to pray on behalf of the church. Um, and so friends, uh, as we enjoy this beautiful uh, Friday, um, I just, as I mentioned yesterday, remember to pray for one another, whether you're watching on, uh, on, and joining on Facebook, whether that is on YouTube. Uh, again, we'll have between... Um, I don't know, somewhere around 80 folks will be, uh, will be praying morning prayer uh, together. So let's remember to keep one another in prayer, um, lifting up little sacrifices today uh, for the sake of one another, asking for the Lord's blessing upon one another. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today. But friends, above all, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.